Hunters, we're coming to you today from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're standing right in front of the Simply Southern Smokehouse. I've heard that they have a nice lunch buffet, have all kind of items on it. So let's go inside and see what all they have to offer. Let's go check this place out. Let's do it. When you are in Myrtle Beach and are hungry for something different, something quick and homemade like Grandma used to make, think Simply Southern Smokehouse, located on Mr. Joe White Avenue. With a nice selection of sides and entree dishes, you definitely won't leave hungry. And desserts too for those of you that have a little room to satisfy your sweet tooth. Here are the hours of operation, closed on Sunday, 11 to 7, Monday through Saturday. This is what the restaurant looks like on the inside. That's your drink station. And if we pan around, you see this is the buffet line for the Simply Southern Smokehouse. And you pay right here as soon as you come in the door. Here's a look at the daily specials. This is from 11 to 3. It tells you what to have on feature each day. This is something added each day on top of the normal buffet that they normally carry. Well, let's take you down the buffet line and show you what all they have. Starting out with mashed potatoes and gravy. They have white rice and the chicken bog. Some hush puppies, tomatoes and okra, green beans and baked beans, lima beans, cabbage, corn and collard greens, coleslaw, your banana pudding, fried chicken, your fried fish, hot wings, we have some smoked chicken. Pool barbecue pork, mac and cheese, sweet potato casserole, and then an apple and a cherry cobbler. All right, David. I got the fish. They had fish on Friday. That's one of the reasons we decided to come today. And that is good. You can see it's flaky. It's really good. I like the fish. I've tried the potatoes. They're actually homemade potatoes. You can tell because they have lumps in them. I have tried the boneless wing, which is also a thing that they have on Friday. They have several items. They just have certain days. On Fridays, the fish and the boneless wing. So I tried that. That was delicious. Very nice uh, buffalo taste to it. I haven't tried the barbecue, so let me try that. I'll try it before I put any sauce on, and then later I'll do some with the sauces. And I see you got you some corn, some hush puppies, even got you some of those greens, too. You got some collards. Mm -hmm. What'd you think of the barbecue? I like the barbecue, and in a little bit I'll show you the different sauces they have here and see which sauce I like the best. But so far everything I had is just good home cooking. Carla has fixed her first plate. She got her some yellow corn, some mac and cheese, mashed potatoes with gravy, some hush puppies, and a chicken leg. Okay, Carly, you had a chance to try some of your food. What do you think so far? Everything is good. I love the chicken leg, as you can see. <laughs> yes, you definitely enjoyed that. And then I also liked the corn. It, it has a very unique taste to it. That kind of reminds me of something I've had before. Like the from corn? A, yes. It's a little sweeter than what we normally have. Yes. It's like, I'm pretty sure, I don't know which restaurant it was that we've been to, but there was another restaurant down here that had like the sweet tasting corn as well that I liked. So I'm glad I was able to get some. And then the mashed potatoes with the gravy. Really good. I recommend it. The mac and cheese, it's not really what I'm used to, but it's still eatable. I like it. You know, that's we, funny, Carly, because we have different tastes than mac and cheese. Carly's favorite mac and cheese is crab. Yes. And a lot of times I don't care for mac and cheese on a buffet, but I thought that this mac and cheese was really good. It was I like the type of cheese they had in it. It was just cheesy, and, and it was good to me. It was unique. Yes, it, like, it was really like good. It. And then the hush puppies. I can't really tell what they have in the hush puppies, 
but they're good. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the hush puppies too. Daddy said he liked them as well. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're enjoying your meal. I went and fixed my fresh plates. I started out with a chicken leg, some of these mashed potatoes with the gravy, some collard greens, some of those green beans. And you'll notice that's a flat type of green bean again. Some of the pork barbecue, some of the white steamed rice, a piece of this fish, and some of the tomatoes and okra, and a couple hush puppies. This food sure does look good, and you could definitely smell it when you walk in the door. So it had a, a good aroma in the air, so I can't wait to try it. Okay, David, you've had a chance to sample some of the stuff on your plate. Tell me what you think. Well, everything I've had so far has been good. The fried chicken, their leg came out as I was getting it. They just put this out. That was nice and hot. The fish, the fish has got a delicious taste to it. And the batter on it's real, very light. It almost looked like it might have been cooked with a little bit of hot sauce. You see, it had reddish tint to it. But I don't taste any heat in it. I didn't taste it being hot. It was just delicious. The pork barbecue, that is delicious. The, steam, uh, the white steamed rice I've had, that's been great. Mashed potatoes are good. Collard greens are good. And the green beans. Okay. And also, I had a little tasting of the tomatoes with the okra. And that was good. Okay. So everything I've had, I've been pleased with so far. Yeah, I really like the collards too. Uh -huh. I hadn't tried that when um, you know you were video of mine. I thought they were good, and I'm going to go and get some more of the barbecue and try the different sauces on it. But I've been pleased with everything so far. You know, it's kind of amazing to find a place like this at Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just good home 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 style cooking. It is, and it's kind of more what I would expect to find in Tennessee. You like, would. You know, we go to Tennessee, some of the places we eat at. This place is pretty amazing, and being, the price can't be beat. And being in Myrtle Beach, you're thinking more of like seafood places. You don't really think of a good family-style cooking restaurant. But so far, I've been pleased with everything. And the way they got the place decorated up inside, it's very nice in here. And everybody's been just as friendly. As, very friendly. And one other thing before, I forget to mention it. The sweet tea mm -hmm. here, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. And I also noticed in the drink machine they have cheer wine. So I'm going to probably get me a glass of cheer wine next, but I want to try the tea. I'm going to have to taste your sweet tea in a little bit. I got the unsweetened tea just because I try not to eat, you know, have as much sugar. But, um, but I so always far, like to try the sweet tea. So far, everything has been delicious. All right, David, I'm going to try the different sauces. The first one is just, it's just called the regular barbecue sauce. That's a good barbecue sauce. It's not too sweet either. I like the taste of that. I don't know if that's something they make in house or if it's, you know, something that they purchase. The next one's hot sauce. That may just be like Texas Pete, but I'll tell you. This tastes like Texas uh, Pete to me. Some type of hot sauce like that's good. And the next one will probably be your favorite, the vinegar. You know I love a vinegar base. All right, let me get a good on here. And the lady said that they make this in-house. And this, has a little bit of sweet taste to it for vinegar. It is so good. I can't tell you how good it is and how much I like it. And it's awesome. But I'm not used to it being a little bit of that sweet with the tang. It's right. really good. And right. then the last one here. It's what South Carolina is known for. It's a mustard-based barbecue. And this is what a few of my subscribers told me to make sure I try when I was in South Carolina. It's the barbecue and the mustard base. And I have to say something. People told us to try the South Carolina barbecue. I got some today on my plate, and it is delicious. I can tell you one thing. What's I that? I like all of these sauces. So all of the sauces are good. Sometimes I'll have one where I'll be like, uh, I'll, I would choose any of these. And of course, you know, my favorite's the vinegar. That's I figured that will be your favorite. But. but all of them are good. All right, we got a new award today. The Clean Bone Award. Good job, David and Carly. And we both recommend the fried chicken here. Yes. This is my first plate. It's definitely clean. On my second plate, I decided to try some items I didn't get on the first one. So I got me a piece of the smoked chicken. Some of the coleslaw, the mac and cheese, 
and some of the sweet potato casseroles. All right, for my second go round, I wanted to try some different items, so I've tasted the sweet potato casserole, the macaroni and cheese, and the coleslaw. All three of those are delicious. This sweet potato casserole, that is some kind of good. You could just use this for strictly for a dessert item. It's so tasty. And you actually have pieces of sweet potato in it. So I was trying, I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. Well, they, the first bite I had, you could actually, it had a, a piece of potato about that big. It, it was still, hadn't been mashed up or anything. So definitely using real sweet potatoes to make this. The coleslaw is excellent. I'm very finicky on coleslaw. First bite of that, I was just blown away. It tasted so good. Macaroni and cheese is good. Now, let's try the smoked chicken. I hadn't tried that yet. Now, Dave, I will say, the reason I like this mac and cheese is they actually have cheese on it in it versus just the sauce. Right. And I think that's why I like that better. You can see yeah, that you on can your plate. Look at all the big clumps of cheese right. which has been melted on top. Now, as far as the chicken leg, this is the smoked chicken leg. Let's try it. You can see the barbecue sauce on it. Chicken's got a great taste. I know I got it all over my face. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. You know it's good when you're wearing it. But the chicken is moist. It's not dry. It's got a good taste to it. All right, I got some banana pudding. And you know they had to have banana pudding on that bar. You can't have a place called Simply Southern and not have banana pudding on the bar. You are right about that. When you're in the South, Banana pudding is a staple for dessert. Hey, I think it's south in the mouth. How does the banana pudding taste, Cindy? It's got a great taste to it. It's very simple, and I like a simple banana pudding. I don't think it's a baked banana pudding, which I prefer one that's not baked. It looks good though. It is good. It's very good. You'll notice the place has really gotten busy since we've been here. They are lined up to get to the buffet line now. And for dessert today, I got me some of this peach cobbler, put a little bit of the soft serve vanilla ice cream on top, and some banana pudding. You definitely got to have banana pudding when you're in the south. And one other thing I like about this place, they have cheer wine in the fountain drink machine. So, cheer wine is a staple in the Carolinas. It's hard to find it at home, so we get it when we come down this way, and I love it. Here is our receipt for the Simply Southern Smokehouse. We had three adult lunch buffets, and the total came up to be $44.99. The prices for the buffet, lunch buffet is $15. Tax and your drink is included. And the dinner buffet is $18, and that includes your tax and your drink. Well, Cindy, what did you think about Simply Southern Smokehouse today? David, I thought it was Southern hospitality at its finest. I would agree. The food was delicious. Everybody was friendly. Just a nice environment for a lunch. Highly recommend coming here. Can't say enough about every item that I had off the buffet. It was delicious. The fish, outstanding love the fish that they have and again they had that on friday the um, mashed potatoes were good the mac and cheese the collards were wonderful they knew how to fix collards here everything that i tried today was good david i would agree cindy everything i had was delicious uh one thing i like to add they have a buffet for lunch every day but each day they add something a little bit special to it so today you'll have one item that you won't be able to get another day so I put in the video a picture of the menu. They'll show what's available on that particular day. So if you want a, a certain thing, make sure to come on that day that, that that is offered. But they have a large selection all the time anyway. Everything was great. You had mentioned that fish. I thought that fish tasted wonderful as well. I, I very much enjoyed that. The fried chicken, that was very good. All the vegetables, sides, everything was delicious. The banana pudding, I enjoyed that, plus that peach cobbler with that soft serve ice cream, that was delicious. Sweet tea was excellent. I love sweet tea. This was some great sweet tea it here. It really was. Also, I mentioned about the cheer wine. That's in the, the uh, fountain drink machine. I'm a cheer wine lover. I got me a glass of that before I hit the road as well. Just uh, a great experience, and it was so nice to come here today 
and I would definitely come back again. Did you mention that sweet potato casserole? I didn't, but man, that sweet potato you, casserole was some kind of good. I had said something about that earlier. You could just make a dessert off of that. That's how uh, great that tasted. It was awesome. It was. Carly, what did you think about your experience today? I loved it. All the food was great. And shout out to a friend I met, Lauren. Come to find out, Lauren has been watching our videos for about a year now. Mm -hmm. So it sure was nice to meet her. It's always nice to meet subscribers. Yes, it we is. We love to meet the people who watch us. And support us and help make this channel possible. What it is today. And if you happen to see us while we're out, please, please stop by, say hi, because we would love to meet you and talk to you. Mm -hmm. And um, even take a photograph with you. Yes. I do have one last thing to add. What's that? That vinegar-based sauce. It was sweet. It was amazing. I bought some to take home. It was so good. So if you come here, definitely try that. It's made in-house. She says they have another one I did not try, which was a vinegar base, but it was hot. I'm sure that was good, too. But this one was sweet, and I never had a vinegar-based sauce that was a sweet before, so I had to get some to take home. Anything else y'all like to say? I, the singing, David. They didn't have singing today, but normally they have singing, and we'll put a clip in the video to kind of give you an idea. If we can find one, we'll, we'll definitely add it to the video, but... Oh, That was one thing I was kind of looking forward to today. The, the lady that working the front register said they'll have a lady here later on this evening singing, but we'll be gone, unfortunately. But hopefully next time we're in town, we'll be able to come by and catch the guy who cleans the tables. He performs and sings at the same time. So Carla, tell the folks what to do now, please. Before I do that, she said that the man that usually does it is in a band and he plays with the band some other places on Fridays. Mm -hmm. So that's why he wasn't here today. But yes. But make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our latest ghost videos. So next time, thanks for watching. God bless. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.